This scar occurred when I was working down the tenderloin with a friend of mine the day after Thanksgiving. I got hit upside the head by a, a drunken wino with a cane. The police were called and the manager of the hotel did yell at me for bleeding on the brand new carpet. Well, I have this scar since I was like I young, like three or four years old. I actually don't know what it is, but I, I think it's probably a dog bite or something. And it's never went away. I tried, the doc just took a test at it, but nothing came out. So, it's just like that. Um, I don't really remember, but I fell asleep with a cigarette. It didn't wake me up or anything. I just woke up with a blister. and uh, But I don't even really remember going to sleep with a cigarette. So. But that's what happened. I was really drunk one time, and uh, I got in a scuffle with a friend, and Another guy came up behind me and hit me over the head with the beer bottle and broke and I put my hands up and it cut my wrist and I put my hands up. Me and my friend used to jump off trees and then there was this tree we were jumping off this stem or whatever and we are just jumping off and then he told me stop so you know I, I lost control, lost balance and went straight down the tree until that big old sliver you know got cut into my leg, in my leg, so I was just hanging off of the tree. And then he went and called my dad, and then uh, my dad pulled me off, you know, off of the tree, off of the thing, and then I just went straight to the hospital. Um, on March 26, I was bit by a spider, and I went to the hospital. Well, my neck had really got sore. I couldn't turn my neck, so I went to the hospital, and they had to open it up and drain it. And then they gave me some antibiotics, and it left a really nasty mark. A uh, friend of mine were playing basketball down in California, and we were having a good time. And well, I was the only white guy on the court. Um, hopefully, that wasn't the reason this happened. But I was playing fairly well, and there was a lot of trash talking going on. And, well, right at the end of the game, I put in the winning basket and started trash talking myself, and they. One guy didn't really take kindly to it and grabbed a box cutter knife and came after me and friend was able to warn me before anything serious happened and he took a couple swipes and missed and then finally stabbed down twice and got me in the forearm and luckily my friend was there and we were able to knock him down and take him out. Um, I got this scar when my friend and I tried to pierce our belly buttons with safety pins when I was 13 and uh, the safety pin didn't really go through all the way on me but it worked on hers. I was chasing my sister in this one field and I ran into a barbed wire fence and I threw my arm up to protect my face and the barbs on the fence got my arm. And I'm uh Getting ready to cross the street, the light says walk, I go to walk, drunk driver runs a red light and hits me, breaks my leg, crushes my face against the car, and uh, I was in pretty bad shape. Uh, he broke all the bones in my face, all my temples, crushed my eye sockets, compound fracture to my leg, bone sticking out about eight inches, uh, pretty serious, took about uh, three years to recuperate from it. Guy walks up to me and taps me. I turn around and he says, uh, give me your wallet. And I said, uh, I said, excuse me. And uh, I said, I'm not giving you my wallet. And the guy just uh, shot me in the chest. And uh, I could feel the bullet go through my chest and all the way out my back of my coat. And I just stood there and looked at him for a second. I said, uh, what's up with you, man? And the guy was so shocked that I wasn't like falling down dead that uh, he, he basically ran away. So I'm standing there with a gunshot wound and I had to walk to the hospital. And uh, they took care of it and everything. It had gone through my lung and that, so I was pretty well kind of drowning on the way to the hospital. And by the time I got to the hospital, I was like in much worse shape because my right lung was so filled with blood that, uh, that I was drowning, yeah. And uh, they pretty much drained my lung and that, and uh, I survived that incident. So that's about it. I got the scar from having my spleen taken out uh, when I was about three years old. And um, I had this disease called ITP, which is... Um, your blood platelets are co coated with the foreign substance, and my um, 
immune system was rejecting my blood, so I got these uh, bruises and, and unexplained like nosebleeds, and um, I would bleed from a cut pretty bad, and uh, I was really sick for a long time. People thought I was going to die at a really early age, so that caused a lot of uh, trauma for me, I think, as a kid, and then being cooped up in a hospital involuntarily and poked with needles and tested probably caused a lot of problems, too. And um, uh, the the my spleen was removed, and that caused um, me to recover, although I think my my blood is still coated with the substance. Um, I can't donate blood. I, I can't pass it on to anyone, but I can't donate blood because other people's bodies would reject it, just like my body rejected my blood. And um, I just think it's interesting to have a scar right there because um, sort of like cut, cut, cut you right in the middle, you know, and, and um, uh, it's just it's interesting. I'm self-conscious about it. Some, sometimes people ask me questions about if I go without a shirt or something. Um, um, I guess I've learned to accept it. Um, it's kind of symmetrical at least. And uh, it's just, I, I don't know, somehow it, it's just a symbolic thing, um, maybe about recovery or about uh, how um, I have this life now that I wouldn't have had if I hadn't had that operation. So in some ways it's, it, it disfigured me, but in other ways it allowed me to live. So um, it's kind of like the wonder of modern technology. I got it from shooting dope, actually. Um, I was sitting in a bush on the side of a freeway for like at least four hours trying to find a vein and I was so addicted to the dub that I didn't really give a shit either which way whether I got it or not and I obviously didn't get it so I got an abscess and um, one of my friends actually had to take me in to the hospital because I couldn't bend or straighten out my arm because the abscess got about the size of a softball in my arm and he took he literally had to drag me there to go to the hospital and after I got it taken care of and stuff like that, I didn't go back to the hospital and continued to shoot dope. So that's, that's the story. <laughs> you just tell okay, it. it's a scar from a chainsaw accident because I'm a tree climber. And it was just a kickback and it spun around and it hit me in the hand, the very tip of the chainsaw. So I almost lost my hand, but I had the best reconstructive surgeon in um, Washington. So he put it back together as best he could and he said he was, I was going to have a scar and he was right. So.